So <laughs> we're settling um, into our um, hotel here. Um, so Star Wars is like what's on right now. Um, but I wanted to show you guys. I've, okay, so um, I have really been preparing for our move for quite a while. And um, so today was supposed to be, well, this weekend's trip was supposed to be a way to kind of not only spend time as a family, um, but to just see if what I have been really focusing on and um, trying to put together really works for traveling because not only am I preparing for um, our, okay, so I have been preparing to move east and I have been preparing for this move for a while and um, I knew that this visit with my dad was coming up so I thought okay I just want to see how packing works and because we haven't really done any traveling since um, since my mom passed so I feel like because we haven't done like a lot of traveling recently I wanted to do a little more thoughtfulness into travel um if I'm honest I love traveling a lot um I love going places and I love experiences and I love doing things as a family and so it's kind of one of those family goals of like what we want to do and how we want to kind of start organizing our lives a little better now that the kids are older. Um, cause like when the kids were younger, I was like, I don't want to go anywhere. I just want to be home. So but now the kids are, are at that age now where I think things are just getting more exciting and they appreciate all things more. So I have really been putting a lot of thought into like, how do I want to start um, preparing for how we travel and right now it is kind of difficult just because we're in a life's transition um, where we're kind of trying to see where we're going to live as a family like where does God want to plant us um, we're really thinking east and we're really believing for east and we really want to go east right now we really don't want to be in California anymore we it's just that's we're just ready for like a new um, life together um, so I put a lot of thought into, into this, um, into our traveling and being together as a family. So I have, I wanted to show you guys, I, first of all, would never leave the house without like either a body spray or like a room spray because we don't always um, get really nice hotels. Like right now we're in Eco Lodge and it's decent, but it's not nice. It's not like, um, so if you need something to spray the room to smell fresh because it smells like cigarette smoke down the hallway and then you come in here, it's just very like, it's just not fresh at all. It smells like cigarette. Um, so one thing that I've done is, is um, so, um, let's see, because I'm trying to think what I was doing a minute ago. Um, okay, so, for you, there's, we have something else in the, we're watching a movie on our big screen. It's no longer Star Wars, because I decided that was too much for my kids, and, and um, Okay, so first of all, okay, so I have gotten this large bag here, and I just wanted to share with you guys, I'm a very big bag person, um, because I believe that you need to travel, and travel in such a way that, like, things are contained. However, there are definitely a lot of things that I didn't get contained in a bag, but that's because I was clearly just focused on one thing. This is my kids' bag of like everything that the kids needed for just a weekend away um, to keep them entertained. So I bought I bought these right here, which they these here are little color sheets, and it's literally mess free. 
So when we first got here, um, my husband and my dad went to go get pizza and the kids are just like, well, what are we going to do now with this time? So I gave them each one of these, um, but really these come with a lot of sheets that they could actually have all shared. But I wanted them to each feel like they each got something and that they could um, individually go to like a spot in the room in the hotel and just color, which that worked out really, really, really well. Um, except for the fact that um, we ended up getting a camera that they have all been enjoying and it's super cute and I want to show it to you guys. It's actually really small um, and it came with these cute little stickers. So I don't know what we're going to do with the stickers yet, but they are really excited about these. Um, and then I also got them some little animal crackers for tomorrow um, when we go to the Square Dance Festival. Um, I also got a Rubik's Cube because my kids love these and it's just fun for them to do something with this. It just is a wonderful way that they keep themselves entertained. Um, I've had this at the house for the longest time, but because we do school almost every day or we have something going on almost every day, they really haven't had time to play with this. So I stuck it in the travel bag knowing like if they're going to be in the car for an hour and 44 minutes or more, they're going to get bored. And this is just kind of one of those like, hey, spend time using your mind, do something that is interactive. The other thing that I did not buy them was Play-Doh. However, I had a really good friend from church buy my kids some Play-Doh. So I have like different colors in my bag. It's brand new, it's not, it's not even open yet. Um, so we're gonna just find like a corner that they could play in. Um, probably not on these floors because it can get messy. Even though these are wood floors, I just would rather like, I'm gonna find something to put down on the floor. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. And then um, they have these little sensory bottles that I made for them and um, I, there was still some glue so I just used like a label thing on there to hide the glue but it's stuff like that that I put it in the car and it's like are you like when they just really are bored which amazingly my kids are very self entertained um and then of course like for the baby I bought brought all these little like gadgets this is one of my favorites because instead of the like the thumb or the fingers in the mouth they can just and this has like little um on here this has different textures on each finger so it's really good for teething and a teething ring and another teething ring that my mother-in-law got for him um, and then they all brought their little paw patrols because these are one of their favorite toys to play with and it does keep them entertained forever and ever so we have like three of these um, and then I bought no I didn't buy I made this little like See if you can find it, and they love stuff like that, and I love making things like that too for the kids. And then lastly, what I brought, the other thing that the kids got were these little erasers, um, which is just fun because there's like little characters so they can use them for like class or travel or, you know, if they're playing. Um, then I got these, which is really, really awesome when we're traveling and you're in a hotel room and you just want to do like a hot cocoa night. And the reason I share that with you guys, oh, by the way, here's this little camera. Like, it's super cute, isn't it? It's super small. And I love it. I'll have to show you where to get it. Um, I'll have to put a link below for this particular vlog so you know where to get these. And I'll put a link to all the other things that I put in my travel bag for the kids. Um, let me show you. So if you're doing hot cocoa, this is one of my favorite ways to do hot cocoa, is you get your hot cocoa, and then they always provide these hot cups here. So you always have a way to brew something warm or hot in your room, of course, um, which is so perfect for just traveling and making like a really nice like hot cocoa night. Um, so that's kind of the gist of what's in that bag and why I love that so much and it really has this trip been so purposeful for me other than the fact that I did not bring um, any of the marshmallows this time just because I did run out of time and it's been really warm. Okay, the other thing that I really have is this bag of like everything and anything 
that you need like band-aids or like the inhaler that sometimes I need or my son needs and then like soap for our hair um like a bubble bath and stuff in which I don't have like a like a toiletry bag yet um for stuff like showers and bath times and stuff like that yet so right now this is it however what I do have and this is gonna go back in the car but um the other thing that I really really love is a hair and tie box for both me and Serenity when we're traveling because I'm one like I love to do my hair and I love my hair to be up and or straightened so um I'm going to need to buy a toiletry bag at some point because I, when I travel, I really do like everything to be um, contained if at all possible. Um, I like that they provide drawers here at Econ Lodge. That is nice. I appreciate it. Um, and lastly, I did bring my iPad because I need to be able to read a good book before bed <laughs> or just in the downtime that the kids are playing so that to me is super important so that does go with me in my baby bag mostly everywhere but I'm not gonna get into the baby bag today because that's kind of a thing that i could review with you guys later oh here's the other thing this came with my baby bag and i love it just because all my makeup fits in here and i take it with me everywhere especially like if i'm traveling somewhere everything fits and that makes traveling and mommyhood so nice and so easy because I'm not like, oh wait, where's my makeup drawer? Because I don't have one since we don't live in our own house. Now, my last thing, because again, I'm still working on these travel and odds and ends. Okay, so I know there's like all these things. The last thing I'm going to show you is, this is actually my library bag right here. <laughs> um, I got it from the when. I was in labor and delivery with Joshua. So this has been nice because it has like a zipper to it and then it just closes very nicely. But I put my curling iron in here and I put my straightener in here because I don't have my travel bags right now. And then I just brought with me like the two books that I felt like my kids would really want their grandpa to read with them. Um, they really like if you give a mouse a cookie and they also really like oh the places you'll go so those are two books that we'll be reading with grandpa and then my kind of like my last 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 resort of stuff that i am truly like i'm okay with because i'm like you guys watching them play um is their little ipads like this one's serenities and it's like a leapfrog and then this one is caleb's right here and then the last one that we have is the iPad. And all of this, all the little kid pads are kid iPad stuff. They are versatile with learning things, which I love because if at all I'm like, okay, I do need a moment of downtime and I need to put any chargers in here, I can do that too. Um, it helps a lot to say, okay, you have like, this is your hour of tech, tech time. So I like I don't have them do a lot of that all of the time, but just to be able to have those things available if they really were to want to choose to do that, that's okay with me and I let them have that free time. So you guys, it has taken a lot of thought. Like I feel like mommyhood is so amazing, and so full of adventure and so good. But, so it is, this is just my vlog of all things travel and mommyhood and it's all an adventure and it is a fun filled adventure for us and I'm constantly learning every day of how I want to improve on things.